So this week was an interesting week because uh, the inflation reading came out, which is a month over month reading on whether inflation went up or down and, and by how much. And it's a big one because remember the Federal Reserve in terms of their rate cuts or not cutting rates, they're making those decisions strictly almost because of the inflation reading because they want that number to be down. Well, the number went up and everybody, I saw it, there was a big emotional reaction on that day and you know, mortgage rates went up slightly. But the, the reaction and emotions that I saw even from people in my own industry, I had to take a pause and say, hold on, it's not that big of a deal. Everyone's just overreacting. So to give you some clarity on what I'm saying is there's something about the expectation that Wall Street is hoping for and how far off that is. So in December, the inflation reading was 3.4. In January, it was 3.1. So it went down. So that is a good thing. But the speculation was it would be down at 2.9. So it was off by 10 basis points from 2.9 to 3.1. If you just map that out on a board, I don't think anybody would overreact even remotely. But because the headlines like we've talked about and the way they portray it, and frankly, the way Wall Street reacted, um, it was an overreaction. And I think as professionals, we have to make sure we don't overreact because we all know that a calm head in the storm is where your clients and your people will gravitate to. You know, if you're, on a, if you're on an airplane that you think is maybe going down and one pilot's freaking out and the other guy's just sitting there quietly, I, I can promise you which one you're going to stand behind. So just food for thought, guys. We'll keep you posted as things transpire.